right guys so uh, right now i'm heading to o'reilly's to go pick up the airshocks for the daytona um i already hit up my friend that works there and he said that he has them there and he's gonna give me a good deal on them so about to go pick them up um I probably won't install them today because it's New Year's Eve, so I'll probably do it tomorrow if I don't wake up too hangover. Cause you know it's New Year's Eve, so you know you got you gotta celebrate. But uh, but yeah, guys. So the brand is the brand is Monroe. I can't remember the part number that uh, Freddie, the guy who hooked me up with the with the hood, he gave me. Uh, but I had told my friend, the one that works in O'Reilly's, about that one. That part number, he says they have him, so I'm about to go pick him up. Also, I'm gonna check if I have warranty on the on the fan clutch because it's making a lot of noise. And if it don't have warranty, then I'm probably gonna wait and uh, order the e fans for the truck. So, um, so yeah. I got love for my city, I got love for my state And yeah, I'm that dude that has never been afraid I represent myself with so much pride I'm the damn battle and I'm always gonna ride A lot of people don't like me but I don't give a fuck I'm a G as fool, you already know what's up For my rasa, I put it down, yeah, for the brown I be doing my thing when I Alright guys, so here are the shocks for the truck I got the airline right there The shocks here uh, I got this stuff that I don't know what it is for, but I'll figure it out. Also, before I start doing all this, I just wanted you guys to know that I've never installed air shocks before. So, if you guys are in this video, watching the video, wondering how to install air shocks, then this is not the video for you because I've never done this before. I'm just doing this to make a video on my YouTube channel. And also so I could show the, the, the everybody who follow me that this is something that I'm putting on my truck. So, so yeah, guys, so I already got the truck lifted. Got the jack stands there for safety reasons. Got the jack under there. And I got the shocks over here. So... Like I said, the reason why I'm replacing the shocks is because I feel like these are, are getting worn out already. Like every time I hit a bump, the truck just goes more down than usual. And, uh, and well, yeah, and I was gonna put the same ones on, the same belt take ones on, but since I'm trying to uh, use my truck for, you know, to pull shit, that's why, that's the reason why I got this for. So I could pull that truck over there. Um, a lot of people are recommending me to get air shocks like that. I won't, I won't bottom out when I pull that thing because that truck is heavy. It's a 454, so it's heavy. And, um, and well, yeah, and I, these I already given out. So I'd rather just get those, the air shocks, since they're cheaper and they're going to help me out for when I, uh, pull this thing. So. So yeah, so right now I'm about to take the ones they already have on. I'll show you guys that process. And I'll install these. And I'll have to see how I'm gonna put those because like I said, I've never installed air trucks before. And the instructions don't really... I'm not the type of person to read instructions. I hate reading instructions. So, so yeah, so I'll probably watch another YouTube video on how to install these. And I'll show you guys how I did it. But, but yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys. So <clears throat> I already took one side out. Put the air shock right there. It's pretty easy. Just gotta take out two nuts. Well, the bottom one and uh top one which are uh, th 1316 socket for each side so there's a nut on this side and a uh, screw on that side and uh i mean a bolt so there's a nut and a bolt and they're both are 1316 and they have them both on that side and that side which is one on top and one on the bottom 
So I'm next installing this one. The only thing is that hopefully I have enough airline to run both. If not, I'm gonna have to go get some more airline. But I think, I think I have enough, hopefully. And I'm thinking about running the, the where it says ass right here and the bottom running the the little valve to put air right there so yeah all done let me show you guys so here's the little valve where you couldn't put air gonna run through there up there to a T feeding to the shock right there and then over there and then the shock over there so it's pretty much it like I told you guys all you gotta do is take that screw off the one over there one right there the one up there and that's pretty much it so right now I'm gonna drop the truck and then I'm gonna go to a gas station so I could put air on the on the shocks and uh and yeah see how it writes jet black all right guys so i already installed the shocks on the truck and honestly they write real good um probably if not the same as my other one so maybe even better um right now i have went to o'reilly to get the paint for the hood and the and the tail and uh i had the shock set at no psi at all like no air i had no air on them and um i was taking them and they were riding real smooth uh but they did bottom out like i was hitting the the notch in the back on a big bump that there's that we have on the highway which i fucking hate that bump but but yeah i mean they ride real smooth. Also, right now, when I came back, I went to a tire shop, and I told the guy to put air on them, so like that, they won't bottom out. And, um, and well, yeah, I, I had told him to put it at 35 PSI, but they were a little bit, the truck was lifting a lot, so I told him to, to lower it down. So we have I have it set up at 25 PSI right now, and the truck looks pretty even. So, um, so yeah, so, I mean, I do recommend the shocks for where anybody who wants to... Uh, you know, like haul stuff in your truck, and, and your truck's lower or or even lift it. You know, those those shocks would are do real are real good. Um, and well, yeah. So probably on the next video, I'm probably gonna post uh, getting the the hood and the tail painted. Uh, like I said, I went to O'Reilly's and I went to go get the stuff that I needed. And uh, and well, yeah. So I'm really excited about that. I have posted the truck on a on a Facebook page. A lot of people were telling me to leave it black, but honestly, I don't want to leave it black because I don't know. Having a black hood it reminds me of those cars that that been crashed before, and they replace them with like you know other parts, and they leave it like that. Like I don't know. For to me, it looks weird. I don't like it, so I am gonna get it painted. Um, and well, yeah, guys. Um, the process for the shocks they were real easy too. Like I didn't really struggle. The only thing I struggled with was taking the nuts off because they were real hard, so I had to get a breaker bar and, and take them off. Um, because when we lowered the truck the first time, which was like three years ago, I believe, uh, I had the bed off. And well, when with the bed off, I tightened those motherfuckers like real, real hard, you know? So, so yeah, that's why they were real tight. And then with, with time, you know? So, so yeah, also the guy, the painter guy like i had told you guys i was gonna tell i was just gonna drive my truck like that but he actually messaged me today he told me that on next saturday um to go take him the truck so he could start getting it ready for the body work and all that so i might i might actually be having my truck painted and shit soon my 454 and uh that's gonna be real cool you know i'm really looking forward to that i was gonna order the tail lights and, and headlights today but since it hit me up, I'm just gonna wait a little longer. And um, 
Oh, yeah, guys. So, uh, also, I want you guys to comment down below. I want I want you guys' opinion on something. Let me show you guys real quick. All right, guys. So I have the the grill right. I have it like like black like that. So I want you guys' opinion. Should I leave it black like that, or should I put the chrome ones on? I post a picture right now. How they look. Um, so yeah, the chrome ones are like like striped like that. So. So yeah, so I don't know. You guys tell me what do you guys think? Do I leave them like that or do I do a chrome ones? The only reason I had changed these ones were because I had the other hood and the hood where I had the 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 scoop. They were like that pattern, like that. So that's why I had changed that. But now since I don't have that, I don't know if to leave it black or put the the chrome ones. So yeah. So yeah, guys. So you guys comment down below and let me know. Should I leave them like that or should I put the chrome ones on? All right, guys, so right now I'm heading back to O'Reilly's because uh, it's kind of like I live there now and shit because I'm always there. But anyways, the reason I'm going over there is because my truck's making like a little uh, airplane sounding noise. if it's because of the fan clutch or uh one of my pulleys um <clears throat> right now i took the fan clutch out and it kind of took the noise out a little bit but there was still the that that noise and then i turned the truck on with no flat with, without the fan on and it, and um it was still making the noise so then i uh i took the the belt off and i was you know moving the 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 pulleys and um well two of them they're making a lot of noise when when i when i spin them so i'm going to guess that maybe it's those so right now i hit on my homie the one that works there at o'reilly's and i asked him if he has those pulleys there he told me he does so i'm about to go back over there and uh go buy those pulleys also i might uh also change the the belt because I don't know when was the last time that belt was changed. And since I'm already there with the belt off, I might as well just get a new one. They're not that expensive anyways. They're like 20 bucks. So, so yeah. And um, also, I have warranty on that fan clutch. And I told my friend. And then uh, he told me, yeah, I do. So, I'm also going to replace the fan clutch. So, I'm going to replace those two pulleys, the fan clutch. And I'm going to replace the, the belt. <clears throat> and, yeah. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, yep. Yeah. All right, guys, as you guys can see, everything I took off already. I got the new fan clutch right here. Got some new pulleys and a new uh, belt. I'm about to install these right now. There you go, nice and quiet. I'll be posting a video of how it sounded before, right now. how it sounds after the the pulley and the clutch no more noise all right guys so that's pretty much it with this video just a little something about installing the shocks and uh and fixing the pulleys that noise that was coming out and the fan clutch uh right now i'm in the process with my uncle uh sanding down the hood which we already did that uh now we have to sand down the the tail and then tomorrow we're gonna he's gonna paint it for me so right now i'm in the process of recording that video so i'm just recording this because i gotta finish this one so so yeah guys so you guys make sure you guys like comment and subscribe Stay tuned for the for the video of painting the hood and the and the tail. Oh yeah guys, that's pretty much it. So, peace. Yeah.
you know I'm about to shine I don't worry about with shit cause I say it waste of my time I work out for my money, no commit crime I think it's all about time that I take mine, yeah